So guys, I would say let's make our hands dirty and try to get the UE5 menu working with ALS in Unreal Engine 5.1. And for that, we open the launcher and try to find the locomotion system, like usual, create the project. And if we go into full screen, there I would say that's the first pitfall. <laughs> Here is no version 5.1, but, 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 you can still use it how how is how you want with 5.1 if you create the project with this version so basically you need to install i guess oh no it's not it's not necessary you can use every version and then later convert the project i will show this to you in a few seconds but at first let's try let's create this project here so it's very fast because it's very very small and if you then go with the explorer into this folder, here is the project. Then here you have the U project file. There we do a right click and click on switch Unreal Engine version. Then we get this tiny, this tiny, sorry, this tiny window here and click on 5.1. It will convert the project and then we can do a double click and you should see the splash screen. Sadly, we cannot move them to my other screen but my machine is quite fast and here we have the project so we don't need this anymore go into full screen and if you press alt p for playing you can also press f11 for full screen and then you should see als is working as expected with this version mentling works and also what is a very good test if you press the t key and the Z key, you should go into slow motion and the debug view. And there we see those traces here on the, on the, on the foot, on the feet basically, on both, both of them. And this is an indication or a sign for us that the foot IK system is still working. And if I press the Z key again, so we go into normal mode, normal play speed. What, what is a very good test for ALS if, is if you keep sprinting in one direction, go into slow motion and jump. And then you should see that the character is landing and you sh should still keep moving forward. And here we see that the Fodak system is working as expected because we don't see any rotating legs or feet or uh, very weird stuff will happen if the Fodak system is not working. I'm pretty sure we will see this once in the series and then you will know what I'm talking about currently. And I would say for me, project seems to be still working fine even in Unreal Engine 5.1. Let's check if it's really the version. So as he is about the editor, it's 5.1. So I would say that's done for project setup almost. But now we will move on, getting UE5 many working, bring TT Toolbox into your en into our engine version, and so on. And then, guys, hopefully we can successfully retarget the UE5 many. I will not go into coding in this series, hopefully, <laughs> if it's not required. And we will just use the tools, and I will sh show them to you or how to use them as a user, not as a coder. And hopefully, it will also support you in your coding and your not coding <laughs> in your retargeting journey see you in the next session